Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Susan and today we are making this delicious marble cake. So stay tuned. <music> So here I have a list of all the ingredients you will need and we're going to start off by putting the butter into the mixing bowl. Now add your sugar. While the mixer is going, I'm going to add four eggs to the bowl. Now you're going to add your vanilla extract and be sure to check out my video on how to make your own homemade vanilla extract. Add a pinch of salt. Now you're going to add your rum extract. I didn't have any rum extract so I just used a little bit of white rum. Now you're going to add your flour to the mixing bowl. So now you're going to add your two teaspoons of baking powder. So now you're going to need a bundt pan. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind of design you have on there as long as you can use it for this recipe. So we're going to add a little bit of butter to this pan uh, just so that the cake doesn't stick while it's baking. Now I'm using a uh, piece of wax paper to spread the butter around in the pan um, and the reason for this is because it's so much easier to try to get into all the little nooks and crannies. So now I'm adding two thirds of the batter to the pan. Now if you wanted to, you could take all of the batter and put it on the bottom part of the pan and then make another batch and just make it chocolate. So um, with, a, with a pan like this, uh, because of the size of it, I have more than enough room in order to make two batches, but I'm not going to because I wanted to show you how simple it is just to make it uh, a small, simple cake. Now we're going to make the chocolate part of this cake and you're going to add your cocoa powder. Now add your sugar. Now add your cream or milk. I'm uh, putting in cream only because I had cream left over and I needed to get rid of it somehow. So I'm putting it into the cake. This cake is very forgiving. So if you have a little bit of cream left over and you need to get rid of it, this is a great recipe for that. Now you're going to add your chocolate batter on top of your vanilla batter. So now that you have your chocolate batter on top of your light batter, uh, you're going to take either a chopstick or a fork. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw that chopstick down and around through both mixtures and twirl the two of them together. Once you have that completed, what you're going to do is you're going to bake it at 375 for about 45 to 50 minutes. Once your cake is done, you take it out of the oven and let it cool off completely before you add a dusting of powdered sugar. So 
So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this how-to video, check out those ones there. Until next time, bye-bye for now.